Hello everyone and good day. I am Decadet Listolnes Millerose, your reporter for midterm oral presentation. And my group mates are Decadet Literato Srivi and Decadet Liwa Robert. Today's discussion is about the positioning and navigation system one. Under the topic of chapter three is the marine magnetic compass, which is our main focus. We are the group 4, so we will be continuing the topic of group 3. This is from slide 21 to 40. Let's have a recap. The magnetic compass still retains its importance despite the invention of the gyro compass. The magnetic compass is less expensive, entirely less self-contained, fairly simple, and not easily damaged. It is very important for us seafarers to know what is a magnetic compass and how to solve and get the variations, deviations, compass bearing, true bearing, and especially the compass error. To start off is the solving for example number two and number three. Example number two. If the variation is three degrees east and the deviation is two degrees east, calculate the compass error. The solution. First, the variation is equal to 3 degrees east and the deviation is equal to 2 degrees east. In calculating for the compass error, it is variation plus deviation is equal to 3 degrees east plus 2 degrees east. They are both from the east side, so you simply add them and it's equal to 5 degrees east. Our compass error is equal to 5 degrees east. For example, number 3. If the variation is 4 degrees west and the deviation is 2 degrees east, calculate the compass error. The solution, variation is equal to 4 degrees west and deviation is equal to 2 degrees east. When solving and finding for the compass error, make sure it is negative 4 because it is from the west. So to get the compass error, it is equal to negative 4 plus 2 is equal to negative 2 degrees west. When you simply add them, it is equal to negative 2. But there is no such thing as negative in the compass. But we make 2 degrees, but it is from the west. Our compass error is equal to 2 degrees west. Next is the example for number 4 and number 5. It is if the compass bearing is equal to 0, 5, 2 degrees and the variation is equal to 4 degrees west and deviation is equal to 1 degrees east, calculate the true bearing. For the solution, first is to get the compass error. Variation is equal to 4 degrees west and deviation is equal to 1 degrees east. So to get the compass error, you must simply add them. Negative 4 plus 1 is equal to 3 degrees west. It is west because 4 degrees is more than 1 degree. Next is to get the true bearing. The compass bearing is equal to 0, 5, 2 degrees and compass error is 3 degrees west. We will subtract this since it is from the west. Therefore, the true bearing is 0, 4, 9 degrees true. Next is example number 5. If the compass bearing is 0 to 8 degrees, then the true bearing is 0 to 5 degrees true. Find the compass error. The solution is simple. We're just gonna subtract them. True bearing is equal to 0 to 5 degrees true minus the compass bearing is equal to 0 to 8 degrees. The answer or the compass error is equal to 3 degrees west. Take note, if the compass bearing is less than true bearing, the error is east. And if the compass bearing is greater than true bearing, it is at west. Look at example number 5. Compass bearing is 0 to 8 degrees, which is greater than true bearing, which is 0 to 5 degrees. True. So the compass error is best at west. So, the next slide is deviation ship specific error. So, this is some errors that can, er, that can cause due to the possible magnetic influences on board the ship. 
As we all know, a magnetic compass gets easily attracted due to the magnetic items, item to which magnets are attracted, wires carrying DC electrical current. These are one of the reasons that would cause some errors or deviation to the result of the reading and the compass error should be corrected. In order to reduce the effect of a specific error, the following are Keep the compass away from influences Twist nearby DC wire repairs Usually, we cannot eliminate them all, all of the errors Error cannot be avoided on board a ship Imagine, a ship is purely made of metals It has a lot of machineries, wirings, and especially the metals itself That would cause some errors All we can do is to reduce the error so that there is a little error to be corrected. So these are the additive effect of compass error. As you can see in the picture, the color blue one is the desired true heading. The magenta is a compass heading must be adjusted to zero to zero degrees to compensate. The green one is the additional error due to zero zero five degrees west of the variation. Next is the color light green is error due to 0, 0.5 degrees west of the variation. By measuring deviation yourself, it is true using the deviation table or the curve, we can obtain the deviation value of a specific compass course. First is you have to know how to do some compass calculations. Examples of compass calculations are discussed about a while ago such as getting the compass error and compass bearing for compensation deviation often is greater than 10 degrees special magnets or such as compensators installed in compasses to reduce the error most compasses come with instructions and can still have significant deviation error after compensation the term compass compensation refers to any change in the current supplied to compass compensation coils whereby the errors due to discussing are reduced. With the help of compensation, it could give us an idea on how to neutralize the effects of magnetic compass that was being exerted. Next is how to compute the compass correction. With the help of CDMVT or commonly known as the can dead man void was void twice at elections which is a very useful for us to, to for us to remember so easily c is for compass course d is for deviation m is for is for magnetic heading v is for the variation t is for the true heading and ad is for add west as you can see in the example which is the uncorrected TVMDC or commonly known as the true virtue makes dull compensations at weddings. T is for true heading, V is for variation, M is for magnetic heading, D is for deviation, C is for compass course, and AT is for add west. We add true heading and variation for it is west. 000, zero, zero plus 0 015 degrees west is equals to 015 and also we add the magnetic heading and deviation as it is at west 015 plus 005 degrees west and now we can have the compass course of 020 next is the worldwide variation this is an example of the magnetic declination model the in Accuracy, or commonly known as the variation or declination, varies in the magnitude from point to point upon the earth. As you can see in the chart, there are lines and these lines are called the isogonic chart. An isogonic chart is a graph that depicts the isogonic lines on the earth. Isogonic lines are lines that depict the earth's magnetic declination and along these lines, the earth's magnetic declination remains constant and illustrate the magnetic variation the magnetic variation is the angular difference between the true north and the magnetic north at a particular place or it is the direction the north end of the magnetized compass needle points 
corresponding to the direction of the Earth's magnetic field lines, and the true north, which is known as the direction along a meridian towards the geographic north. Next is the swinging ship. The question is, what is a swinging ship? It is a process of measuring residual deviation error after compensation, usually determined in 15 degrees minus 3 degrees heading increments, record in a form of deviation table. Compass adjuster can be provided as a service or you can just do it yourself. Swinging the compass or commonly called as swinging the ship, it is an operation that is sometimes are more accurate called as a ship swinging around the compass card which is ideally remains pointing north towards taking the vessel to a suitable location in an open water with plenty of rooms for maneuvering. Next is back to, let's go back to measuring the deviation. For each 15 degrees minus 30 degrees, you need to first know exactly what direction or the magnetic on your boat is pointed. Second is to compare the, it with the compass reading and third, compute the deviation. So the only key in knowing exactly what the direction you're headed is that way. And there are several ways. Remember, deviation changes each time the boat alter course. There are people skilled in compass adjustment who can issue a card for a particular compass with the deviation listed for changes in the direction. This is particularly important for heading where the significant deviation exists. So these are the example ways to know your heading. Before we start, let's have a recap of what is a heading. It, or it means a direct direction in which a vessel is pointing at any given moment and it is expressed as the angular distance relative to north or usually at 0, 0 degrees or north either true magnetic or compass direction ways to know your heading in a calm water with a minimal current and after that record both compass heading and relative veering every 15 degrees to 30 degrees and after you need to compute deviation for each heading next topic is the measuring of relative bearing bearings are measured of directions with north taken as a reference if you are traveling north, your bearing is 0, 0 degrees, and this is usually presented as straight upon on the page. If you are traveling in any other direction, your bearing is measured clockwise from north. Relative bearing refers as to the angle between the ship's forward direction and the location of another object. For example, an object's relative bearing of 0 degrees would be dead ahead. An object relative bearing of 180 would be behind. Using a relative bearing is a great way to point out the approximate line of sighting of such approaching vessel, buoy, or some other important object that needs to be sighted. In measuring relative bearing, the following are mounted parallel to vessel skill and all around view. Zero degrees aligned with keel. Align targets inside, we read relative bearings on scale. Next is the electronic steering compasses. What is electronic steering compasses? On boat or on board the ship, it is normally consists of a permanently high quality installed magnetic compass located in the cockpit near the steering wheel and steering helm. The comp Steering compass is the primary for navigation instrument for the helmsman. It is used to determine the, and check the direction of the ship as to where it is heading for. Also, an electronic steering compass is a future automated division elimination. Next is the local magnetic disturbance. When you found out that there is something wrong with your compass, in some location there are local magnetic disturbances that can affect your compass and sometimes there are often recorded or noted on the charts so always remember that for shipboard compasses we have a gyro compass it is a type of a non-magnetic compass which is based on a fast spinning disc and the rotation of the earth to find the geographic direction automatically 
Remember, there are three types of gyro compass. The spin axis, the torque axis, and the precision axis. As the centripetal force of the Earth's rotation acts upon the gyro error, the torque and the precision axis will react and keep the spin axis oriented to the terrestrial meridian. So, let's try to know the pros and cons of gyro compass from the magnetic compass. The gyro compass has several advantages over the magnetic compass. First is its six true in geographic meridian instead of magnetic meridian. It can be used near the Earth's magnetic poles where the magnetic compass is useless. It is not affected by surrounding material. It is not affected by surrounding materials and its signal can be fed into internal navigation system, automatic steering system, and fire control system. Being a complicated electronic instrument, the gyro compass has also some disadvantages. And the followings are, it requires a constant source of electrical power and is a sensitive power to fluctuations. And it requires periodic maintenance by qualified technicians. For the methods of determining gyro compass error, although the gyro compass is a very accurate instrument and normally has a very small error associated with its reading, less than 0.1 degrees to 0.2 degrees, the navigator is required to determine the gyro error at least once a day. Gyro compass error, like magnetic error, is measured in degrees from east to west. And last but not the least is how to get the gyro error in the gyro compass bearing. If the gyro compass bearing is higher than the actual bearing, the error is at west. If the gyro compass bearing is lower than the actual bearing, the error is at east. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something from our report. By the way, this is group 4 saying goodbye and thank you for listening. Thank you.